You're listening and watching to a very special podcast. Okay, we got more. Are you ready? Let's do it. Was this the end? Or was it just the beginning? What was even anything anymore? She didn't know. Lola felt as if she was falling forever. She screamed for dear life, and she could hear the others calling out for her from down below. Would any of them try to catch her? Or was she going to die like this? She thought about her family. She thought about everything that had happened. How Jean risked everything to help her. She owed him that much. Sean, thank you. However, she couldn't help but notice, like before she even lost her balance and fell, she saw that Ben was trying to run over to her, maybe trying to save her. But why? Why did he care about her so much? What was she to anyone? She couldn't understand it. She just couldn't. She thought maybe it would be easier in death. But then she realized, wait, what the heck am I even thinking about all this? What the hell? That's when she decided to use her powers to maybe help her. And that monster just leaped over and was charging in at her. Lola screamed, terrified. This thing was gonna come and kill her. No, no, she cried. She shielded herself away. That's when she heard reap. It sounded like a murmur, but then she heard a swift sound of chains, and all of a sudden, Lola could feel the chains wrapped around her and she was swung. She didn't know what was going on and saw the brightest sun. That's when she felt her own arms were slinging around someone's neck. She looked over and she saw it was Shuhei. Shuhei, it's you, she said. Hold on, he said. Oh my God. Whoa, whoa, Lola said, still clinging on. You just activated your Yes, I did. Thing is, this thing is not really tough. <gasps> you caught it! What do you think you're doing? Ben called out. You either put him down this monster immediately, or we'll have to treat it with it even further. Shuhei said, Oh, is that a threat? I don't think so. This is my destiny. This is our destiny. Mine and Taylor's. Not yours to intervene. He said. Ben then exclaimed, Can't you see? There is no other holiness to overpower me. No evil, only humanity, only me. You have gone quite enough with this. The monster then broke free from the chains. Shuhei was startled, but he managed to stay calm and Lola held on. Okay, I don't think this is a good idea with me here. Do you want me to drop you down there? Yeah, gently, please. 
All right, then. Then he called out, Izuru, mind helping me out? Sure thing. Hang on. Izuru called out and leaped over at the monster. The monster was still hanging by a thread, but it broke free and was holding on and tried to reach it over. However, Izuru activated his sword of a zompop toe, saying, Raise your head, Wabisuke! And managed to make the monster fall with one swing. The monster was hit from the torso and the waist down, as well as his legs. Lola could feel herself guided down, and she managed to get back on ground level while, we're, while placing her arms away from Shuhei. Thanks. You saved my life, man. You're my Superman. Hmm. No problem, he said. Kaeda went over and hugged Lola. Oh, I'm so happy you're okay. I thought you were a goner, she said. I'm fine, I'm fine, don't worry. I'll be okay. Everything is gonna be just fine. I'm safe. That's when Kaeda just poked her, saying, Don't ever do that again. I was nearly in tears when I saw you falling, she said. Oh, you were crying? Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, I won't do that again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry. Kaeda sniffled a bit. That's right. You made me worried. I thought you were going to die. But I'm okay. Shuhei helped. Well, that's good. If it wasn't for him, you would have easily died. Oh, stop it. Come on. Just relax. I'm fine. See? Safe from harm. Okay. Just remember. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'll be careful. Thank you. Kaeda said. That's when she felt someone's hands on her shoulders. She looked and she saw Jean. Jean. Jean then hugged her. <sighs> you idiotic girl, you got us so worried, he said. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my god, I got everyone worried. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I feel really terrible. that you were gonna fall and die from that thing or worse Luna said glad to see you're okay Kimizuki said man what was with you during that time I don't know Lola muttered Jean then said Next time you do something, don't leave us behind like that again, okay? Yeah, friends really do matter, don't they? 